Well, I mean, obviously, full credit to Captain KL Rahul, but uh, we we sort of chatted about Chris Gale, a very different sort of Chris Gale, but the kind they needed today, and he came to a very different sort of party. Yeah, you don't buy experience in a supermarket, so the saying goes, and he's an experienced player. Uh, probably, actually, if as I think about it now, it comes to me, probably the greatest um, 2020 player ever. You know, he's been playing for a long, long time. And come this situation, he knew exactly what it is and what it was that was required by his side and executed. At the beginning, you saw him not trying to take the ball on or take the boundary riders on when there was nobody there. He'd try and hit it in the gap, even when he was going for boundary. So it really was a percentage sort of thing. And how many times would you see a Chris Gale playing sort of lap or sweep shots? He doesn't do it. But because this is a slow surface, instead of going against it or fighting against it, seem to go with it and use all of his experience to just hang in there. Never mind that he's facing dot balls. He knew that the pressure would shift, actually, and the pressure was all on the bowling side, who only had 131 on the on the board to make sure they didn't bowl any bad deliveries. It, it was a masterful innings, I think, and and really good to see that there's an adjustment from not a case of this is how I play and so I'm going to do it like this, never mind what's on offer in terms of condition, in conditions, but a respecting of those and working according to them. How would you classify that uh, victory, Sean? I mean, obviously, uh, it was so dominating 24 hours ago from Bangalore, but uh, a tactical win from Punjab over Mumbai? Yeah, I think it was a tactical win. Uh, I think it was really good adjustment on their behalf, being able to deal with the scenarios that were put in front of them. Um, I think good to get ahead of the rate at the start, just gave them some time. I think in all honesty, I mean, there was one point there where I think Chris was maybe, what is he, four or, or five off about 11 balls. And unfortunately, if he had got out then, I mean, he would have had to take it on the chin um, as as really putting his team under some pressure because he had absorbed. The other problem from it's not his kind of surface. Why? First of all, because it's ball not coming on. He can't just whack it out the ground. But secondly, at this stage of his career, running the singles is not real strength of his. So he, he battles to rotate the strike and, and also to pick up the quick single. So it, there was a cracks moment. I was watching going, he's going to pull the trigger here. He has to at some stage. It's going to become a big over. And he actually went, I'm trying to think who was bowling. I think it was the off spinner. Yeah, he but, went at yeah. him and he dragged one across to the leg side. And it was a couple of bounces squirted in between. And that was the lucky break that he, he required. And then not long after that, he hit one out the ground. And then he was up with the rate and he was able to negotiate it brilliantly. He adjusted the way he played. He, he jumped onto off stump and as Pommy said, he was, it's not really his, it's his version of a sweep shot. But it's like a paddle, <laughs> paddle half sweep thing around the corner. <laughs> and, he, and he did it brilliantly. And and the, the key point that Pommy makes there is, with all that experience, is often the fact of hold your nerve, hold your nerve, hold your nerve. He who panics first often is the one who ends up on the losing side. And, and he didn't panic. And... 90% of people in the RPL, batting-wise, no matter how much experience, probably would have gone, oh, I'm, I'm messing this up for the team. Whack, up in the air, gone. But he didn't. He held that nerve. And um, I think that was the impressive part. I must admit, I, th I think the bowlers, the spinners to him in particular, were brilliant with some of their lengths. I think Krunal Pandya may be the only one who's the exception. But Chahar and... Uh, Yadav. And Jay don't, Yadav, yeah, he, he was brilliant. I mean, they gave him nothing. There was no air, nothing that he could get underneath. It was flat and it was accurate. And it was, the pace was just perfect. And it really, really was difficult for Chris to get going. And K.R. Rahul, who's a good player of spin. So I think they tried everything they could, uh, Mumbai. But for a, a few things, even even Boomer's adjustment to his cutters at the back end there, sure, he looked lethal. <laughs> I would have hated to see Al Kumbli on that kind of wicket with a tall and, and get the script like that. Um, but yeah, credit to them, you know, a brave call to put mm. a team in on that kind of surface. And, you know, all you can do as a team is back it up with the way you bowl first up and then knock off the score uh, with the way they did and they held their nerve so congrats to them i mean if they'd lost that they still sit bottom of the table in some real trouble so i don't think we un don't underestimate the how important a game that is for them